what's going on guys it's your boy nate here and i'm back with another one and today we are going to be talking about stances this is part two of the series that i'm doing to teach you guys how you can get the best stance while riding your euc but wait before you do anything else do me a solid favor and make sure you tap that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything happening here on the channel and at the end we're gonna have a bonus talking about the subscribers who won the free tgl merch so stay all the way to the end for this one you don't want to miss it all right so uh when it comes to stances you know i use like a, a vast amount of stances for when i'm riding this helps me while i'm riding in new york city so i thought i'd share it with you you know i think you, you guys are going to enjoy this one so um let's let's go to the uh let's talk about the first stance in part one if you haven't seen part one you can check uh check it right up there make sure you watch that video uh that was my first attempt but now we're back here again um trying to cover up and just fully explain everything that i just i mentioned and spoke about I'm also got some uh, some mentions about audio quality. I guarantee you the audio quality is top notch this time around. So yeah, I hope you guys can hear me well and everything. But um, yeah, so in the stance video I did, now the cruising stance, the cruising stance is definitely uh, a stance that you wanna try to master the cruising stance and get comfortable because well, for me personally, that's my main stance that I use when I'm riding around um, New York City and, uh, you know, or anywhere in general. Like, the cruising stance is, like, the main primary stance that you have to get down. You have to get it down packed. If you don't know the cruising stance yet, it's when both of your feet are more outwards on the pedal. So you have a, uh, you have a control to move left and right. Well, I'm, I'm speaking for the MSX exclusively because that's like my, my personal best wheel that I think, I think it's the best wheel overall. So yeah, I'm just going to speak for that because the pedals are, you know, on an angle, you're going to, you need that leverage. And for the cruising stance, you know, when you're standing on it, you know, you have the power to use your toes and your heels while you're riding it to break and to accelerate while you're standing, standing up straight. I don't necessarily recommend standing on the cruising stance if the road is bumpy, if there are a lot of uh, inconsistencies in the road, I don't recommend doing the cruising stance. Why? Because you can you can get thrown off if, you're, if your body control is not there. You know, the road can mess up your balance. That's one thing that you always gotta remember that that can happen. And uh, yeah, don't get thrown off your wheel, guys. It's not fun to get thrown off. So definitely, that's why you want to master these stances. I'm actually working on an online course for everybody. So if you guys really want to get more in-depth information on perfecting your stances and more EUC tips and lessons in general, it'll be there. So guys, look out for that. And um, yeah, so the cruising stance is very essential. So that's a primary stance that you have to master that stance, you know, when you go out there riding. And, you know, if, if you check out the videos that I have up here, um, you should see, you know, me using the cruising stance. And that's, that's a primary stance right there. And then we also have the control stance. Now the control stance is exclusive. Not everyone uses this stance, but you know, because I live in a city, New York City, and I'm constantly weaving and bobbing and going through a lot of traffic when I'm riding, especially for work, uh, I use that stance to you know easily get around things and get around cars and stuff. And it should be on the video up here. It should be on the video. You guys should see a little bit of how the cruising stance is in action. And yeah, so. That's a stance that I wouldn't say to worry about that stance too much, but if you live in the city, so if it, it applies to anyone who lives in the city and you live in a highly congested area where there's a lot of traffic and stuff like that, um, you know, it's going to be very essential for you. So you should definitely uh, learn that stance. And with that stance, you know, with the, with the control stance, it's pretty much you have your, if you're a righty anyway, if your dominant side is on the right side, you're going to have your right leg near the pedals right so after you have your right leg right the right leg is near the pedals 
you're gonna have your left leg more outwards. So, so pretty much it's like, it allows you to swing your body more than you would, like very dramatically, it allows you to swing your body dramatically in any position you want, you know? But keep in mind that, you know, when you're riding the wheel, you don't wanna just depend on your feet, you gotta always depend on the upper, body, the upper part of your body too, your head, your shoulders, everything works in unison when you're riding the wheel. I also love that because you feel more connected to the wheel when you're riding, right? So definitely that's something to take into account. So with the control stance, um, you know, like I said, your right foot is gonna be closer to the pedal. And then I said to the pedal, closer to the shell. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. So your right foot is closer to the shell of the wheel and your left foot is actually um, more outwards, you know? So let's say this is, everything is uh, equal and you know this is a control stance so when you swing when you swing you know you're gonna be able to do a little bit more you're gonna have a little bit more leverage to you know dramatically swing the wheel around to you know to dodge things and stuff like that you should be in the video there you guys should probably see it happening all right so um, yeah and now the third stance that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today, which was, uh, you know, I showed you guys that in the first, the first video is the power stance, right? So the power stance now, it, so pretty much it's almost like the cruising stance, but then again, your, you know, your, your body placement and position is in a more aggressive kind of mode, you know, like your feet is, is both feet now are going to be closer very close to you know the pedal the pedal arms the pedal arms on the uh, on the wheel and your, your both feet are going to be closer to the shell and in this stance now you're going to get more reactivity from the wheel any wheel you ride you know when you ride your feet closer to the wheel you're going to get more reactivity you know you're going to get more response you're going to feel that motor power so it's definitely essential if you want but i don't recommend beginners do this stance don't do this stance if like you're new in the game learn the learn the cruising stance first and then you can transition to different stances and this is very key and vital to riding and staying on the wheel this will minimize you falling and dropping so you guys heard it from nate man some key points key aspects in riding and you should see it in a video there uh you know of me doing the power stance or maybe other riders uh, we're doing the power stance or whatever. So if you want that, the, if you want the maximum power, you want to go in that uh, position and stance. You want to go where, like I said, and with the MSX or the M Super X, um, you know, because the pedals are, you know, on an angle, um, so it, it gives it a more dramatic effect. You know, so if you want that more dramatic acceleration, so you'll get and but keep in mind, it's gonna drain your battery. You know, so keep in mind, guys. If you do that, it will drain your battery. So you can't forget that. All right, so let's answer some subscriber questions. Okay, so drone fan CCO said, love it, brother. Awesome helmet. What model and brand is it? Also, Menace the third said, yeah, please, I love the helmet. So drone fan and Menace, yeah. Uh, so this helmet I have here is the, uh, the One Storm motocross helmet that has uh, actually put this visor on, it's the smoke visor. It, it normally comes with a clear visor. So um, definitely check that link in the description to get your hands on this beast. And yeah, it's pretty good, man. It has a nice solid feel. You know, it's full face, you know, it has the, uh, you know, the little filter right here. So, you know, it filters the wind coming through. And it also has, an, uh, it has two visors actually. It has one right here, it got shades. And you see, it got the shades and it also has the main visor right there. So yeah, yeah, man. So get yours today, man. Get yours and test it out. Let me know what you think. It weighs about like three to four pounds and it, it's, it has some weight to it and it's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. You know, I only uh, use it a few times. I'll be using it more as we go, but uh, yeah, so far so good. But definitely get yours and let me know what you think. And you can find the link in the description below. Um, so Robert Calloway says, what do you think about the softer pads? Is there much leverage or do you think they are useless? Well, Robert Calloway, so the softer pads, they do work. 
but you know if you really want a dramatic uh, power pad torque effect you might as well just go with the the harder pads you know it's just thicker if but just keep in mind that your feet are going to be wherever you put the pads your feet are going to be stuck in that place to get the torque you know constantly so you got to have the good placement and if but if you don't want that the softer pads will work too so the softer pads is more open and it's more comfortable it's softer you know and but you'll you get you'll get the similar effect but it's, again it's going to be more dramatic and you're going to get more with the hard pads it kind of locks you in place like you know so yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, you, you should if you really want the soft pads, bro, go for it, you know. And the real talk said, okay, LMAO Nate, what would you have done if someone grabbed it? That would have been a viral episode. LMAO, the chase would have been hilarious. Let's go. Uh, he was talking about my social experiment video. So like, if if someone would have grabbed my wheel, that was the video I just dropped. Um, by the way. Um, so if someone would have grabbed my wheel, I would have chased after them. I would have been shouting and chasing after them. If you don't know, I could run, man. Listen, yeah, I know y'all don't see me. Y'all always see me riding, but I could run. I could run. I'm gonna run pretty fast. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But yeah, I would have ran after them, man. I would have ran after them and chased them down. Let's let's hope that doesn't happen. But if it happens, then you guys will see it first. So yeah, that's it for subscri uh, answer subscriber questions. Let's get to this merch giveaway. And if you haven't already, make sure you tap that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Like, you're honestly missing out on a lot. You're missing out. And we checking in, man, because we're doing a giveaway. You know what I'm saying? We're giving a merch giveaway. It's been like, uh, how long? Probably a little bit over two weeks now. So it's about time that you guys get some free merch. So let's find out who are these three winners for this month's TGL Merch official giveaway. Let's see. How's everybody doing, man? If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like. You don't want to miss out on anything happening here. You don't, because it's crazy. It's crazy. So, yeah, let's go over the, the three people who won, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're just, we just lit like that, you know? We just lit like that. Um, so the first winner is Bobby Zhao. Bobby Zhao, congratulations, my man. You won yourself some free TGL merch. Don't forget to put your information, shipping, and stuff like that so you can get yourself some free TGL merch. Awesome. Great, man. I'm happy for you, man. Cool. Yeah, get a, give, give Bobby Zhao a clap, man. Clap it up for Bobby Zhao. He just won himself some TGL merch. Now, let's get to the next person. The next person is Lavette Esperon. Lavette Esperon. Welcome. Appreciate you. Don't miss out. Watch this to the end of the video. Make sure you watch all the ads too. And yes, you won yourself some TGL merch. So guys, clap it up for Lavette Esperon. Because she just won herself some free TGL merch. Also for you too, don't forget to send out your contact information or shipping details and all that stuff so you can get yourself some merch and congrats you know and I think I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be doing another one so that's gonna be fun too probably in two weeks from now I'm gonna do another giveaway so if you guys want some free stuff man subscribe press that notification bell so you don't miss out I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now and uh, you know New York baby but uh so yeah so now we're on to the third person for this month's TGL merch giveaway, and that is Sergio De La Rosa. Sergio, Sergio, good luck, man. Congrats. You won yourself some free TGL merch. Also for you too, don't forget to put those details, man. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook or whatever you got me on, and definitely uh, send me a message, Telegram, and so you can get yourself some merch, man. But congratulations to all three of you. That's amazing, you know? So, yeah, guys. So don't miss out on some more stuff happening here on the channel. I promise you it's going to be legit, legitimate. So, yeah. All right. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right? Appreciate y'all watching. Peace.